Hello and welcome to the McNeil Voice Studio po Patreon podcast after show. I'm still working on saying that name. Um, this is where we get to chat with our guests. Miss Amber is with us today. Amber Frangus is the uh, is a playwright. She's the resident playwright for Flashback Theater. Amber assists in artistic development and, and is the playwright me mentor for the Let's Play Company members. Um, thank you so much for joining me, Amber. Thank you for having me. So now we're going to get a little silly. And Good. Ask some I like getting silly. That, you know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so the first silly question I've got for you, Amber, because you are a writer, is yes. what is your favorite word? Oh, it's it's not going to be a silly word, though. My okay. favorite word forever is love. Oh, that's good. That, that is my favorite <laughs> word because... I truly believe that everything falls from the source of love, no matter if it's a negative reaction or a positive, it's always love. Everything in life will be distilled down to love. I love it. I love it's it. not funny, but. No, I love that. That's great. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is a, a weird question, but hey, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? Well, I can tell you it's here in Kentucky. We were re renovating our house here and there are these big roofing nails in the studs on the floor. And so I was helping get the uh, boards up, but I thought, oh, I better nail down that nail so I don't step on it. And then I thought, oh no, that's wrong because I have to pull the board up. So I pulled all the board, all the nails back up. So they were all sticking up and I turned around and stepped on one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, but you are okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, went right at my foot oh my between gosh. my two toes. So I wasn't injured too too badly, but I just felt so stupid because I, you know, I'm the one that did it. I knew the nail was there. So yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Here's a little bit more of something that is uh I think our listeners will enjoy. Um, or viewers. Sorry, Patreon people, viewers. <laughs> viewers. Um what have you read or listened to in uh in recently that has inspired you well this is going to sound self-effacing and i don't mean it to be but i we're working on this musical together so what inspires me is the writing of the music because that's something that interests me so every time i read something that you have written and um i get to hear i'm inspired to keep going so oh. that's really really what's been working for me now it, it's just so inspiring for me um to know that there's that creative force and it's now a actual physical thing that just that that keeps me going forever yeah i i will say collaboration when you start to see your work coming alive in a different way is so cool yeah, and yeah it, that it's amazing you're writing, she, yeah. amber is doing the lyric writing and it's just so amazing and then handing this over to other people that we're working with and seeing it performed it's just so exciting uh, yeah so, you definitely uh, be on the lookout for Mary, her musical, because that's what she's talking about. Uh, Mary, her story, which is a musical, pardon. <laughs> yeah, I changed it. That's a whole story in itself. <laughs> it's Mary, her story, and that's what it's going to stay. So, <laughs> um, Okay, here's a silly one. What's the worst pickup line you've ever had uh, dished out to you? Well, this is interesting because it actually worked on me and I married him. <laughs> It was, oh yeah, it was, um, I was at a bar. Of course, I knew him in high school and ran into each other years later, but um, he came up to me and he said, do you believe in that men and women are equal? And I said, yeah, of course. He goes, okay, buy me a drink. Oh. <laughs> Out of a drink, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, that's right. And I'm thinking, oh, I got to do that because I can't say, I'm not buying you a drink. So yeah, yeah, it worked on me. I thought that was good. Wow, good wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, if you've ever gotten stuck in an elevator and you were forced to listen to one song that entire time, what song would that be? Here again, and I, I, I hate to say it, but it would be a song I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I do. I mean, and it's not because it's like, oh, look at me. I'm such a great songwriter. It's just so rewarding to put something out there that, like you had just said, becomes another thing. It just, I am so inspired by that. And I tried to think of a song, you know, a contemporary song or something. But right now, maybe it's just because I'm in the midst of this creatively with Mary, her story. 
I just love the music. I could listen to it forever. And it just, I don't know. And, and I know that probably sounds egotistical. I don't care if it does. <laughs> I you just do you. Could, I do me. That's what I say. I do me, and I could be in that elevator with a ham sandwich for eternity, listening to that song. So I love <laughs> it. I, I think, love it. But you know what? Seriously, I think artists out there need to be more engaging and accepting how beautiful their work is. I think my work is beautiful. I do. I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize. I just, and I think artists need to embrace that because I think for some reason we're taught to think if we produce something, we're supposed to be modest about it and, you know, um, timid and no, celebrate your work, yeah. get it out there. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, I, I'm the type that will listen to a, a song for like a month straight, just the same song over and over. When I like something, it's just like, and I'm sure I drive people around me nuts. So apologies to anyone else I've ever done that to. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm the same way, so I get it. Um, What is some good, like you just dished some good advice there, like being able to love your own work and and feel like you can share it with people. But maybe what what is another good um, tip or tool for, for creative people out there? I think I'm learning this and I really knew it intuitively. This is funny. You've got to listen to your instinct. You've got to listen to your voice inside you. If it's a, a barometer or, or a, a moderator or whatever, however you gauge how you make decisions. For me, I've got to trust or I have to trust my instincts. Go with your gut. I think, especially creatively, there's so many people that put input in my work and everybody's work. It, it, it's, it seems easy to do. Like if you think about an accountant and they're keeping track of everything, someone doesn't go and say, oh, I think you should, you know, move the numbers there or do this. With creative work, people kind of can put input into it because it's not really a concrete thing, but in a way it is a concrete thing to you because it's your work. So I would say, trust your judgment on your work. Use your, your voice as the last one that decides. Don't be um, strong-armed into change something that you really don't want to change. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing all of this with me and with all of our viewers and listeners. My pleasure. Um, if you're just watching the Patreon video, make sure you actually listen to the podcast. It's amazing. Um, thank you so much. And everybody, goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Bye.